Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talking about how you can get updated your new applications from current to new. So first, what you need to do, you must install this application. It's a uh, updateify. You can find it on Play Store. So you um, uh, you have to create one project. As an example, I'm gonna show you guys in Sketcher so first in setting in advanced setting you can see i use the current 11.0 this is a version so let me open it so you can see I already opened this project then go to event and hit request uh, for starting uh, or updating this application so I already import here so you can see here UO is the updating component so it say automatically created the resources so I'm gonna continue here is the main component that linked up with this updateify application so I'm gonna create something before we go So it's loaded as a example so here you need to go to component section and create a component the request network set it whatever you like and add here and in the component section go, uh, click on this plus sign and import this to one on response and error after that go to on create go to component and add this block request network start network request to method set your component name here get and blank it for now go to on response and here your mode block set it here and add the response drag it lie with your finger and add it here in the string you can also add one toast if you like to and add one toast here so how it works now I'm gonna demonstrating this whole method First of all, you can see we already add updateify component here. If I open this one, so you can see there are a lot of codes. Uh, this works with the JSON map and also with your system. So first, what it request? Open your updateify application. You can see the updateify. It's my second time opening this application. So if you are new, you must request to register in your password and your email address. So I already did everything. So here you have to choose this plus sign and input your name like whatever on this back as an example. Here the person make sure this one uh, matching with your the application you have created it's like 11.0 and you can choose the app icon so I just make it like that and create new project so you can see your project is ready to go 
you can see here is one url it's called the json url uh, if you search it on google you get it this kind of result let me show you you can get this kind of json type because this whole thing is a uh, url uh, added here so you must go to this top drop down icon click on here so you can see it's for updating your next applications so must you require to copy this api just click on copy api here you can see the information don't share with anyone because it's really you know about that uh, if you edit this thing and upload it as JSON you can also edit a hacker now copy it go to your sketcher application again go to event and here go to activity on create and in this to URL just paste it it's done so set it everything like that now run this application so if I open this application you can see there's nothing but we use the network component that's why you get the real-time updating things so let me go to updateify so here's updateify and click on this update when you click on update you can see your current version is here already shown 11.0 and just add your new version of this apk i add 12.0 and give some notification title like update is available now as a message fix box fix issues new features it's done and here is the main thing because on button click what you need to do you can exit this application you can open an email or you can close this dialog menu so if you uh, give an updating uh, user uh, experience like your new application is available for updating so you must go for this open url click on here and here you have to request to use your url so i'm gonna use google.com as an example but if you want to uh, use your application so make sure you upload your application in google drive then paste the link here after that you can set the button text like update now here so here is the cancelable thing it's also really important because I don't like when uh, sometime if your touches like mm, beyond the dialog it just closes automatically so you must untick this thing because when you touch outside it automatically close so uncheck this as a false and click on submit new app okay submitted now now if I go to example let me open it again new application you can see 
update is available if i click on outside it not going anywhere because we uh, set the cancelable false you can see nothing happening but if you tick mark this option if you touch the outside it just uh, downgrade so here is works now if i click on update now he directed my google.com as a I input my local URL here. it works uh, but I want to give you some suggestion and tips because uh, you can see when you again open this application that we are looking for it also pop up like updated update is available but user if updated this uh, application but then it also continue like update is available so you must know about to set something that don't repeat this thing so what you can do go to sketch your hair you can set you can modify it in modify update if I component Here you can see it's a updateify link that you have already uploaded as a google.com to string you can add it also here like when update is completed this method is uh, false or it's completed I recommend it as a beginner if you are a beginner you don't know much about sketch here you can use this method but you all but if you are already familiar with this sketchware development be, uh, so you can use my method so I'm gonna give some overview from my application so let me close it down I'm going in my admin section so here I'm gonna choose as a test so I'm gonna choose one image but it won't be an image so you must choose uh, an AP APK file so I'm gonna give a title here update get the fixes and add it in my JSON so you can see it's uploaded now open the user application so you can see here is my application it's a update with fixes so if I click on update now it's downloading also it's showing the counting thing you can run this installing from here in this dialog menu if I run it uh, the application will automatically update the new version app and it exit the current activity thank you guys thank you for watching hope it helped you uh, if you have any problem go to comment section and feel free to ask me thank you